Hey guys, it's Christopher Cedar with Vacant House Riches, and I want to shoot this quick video for you while I am out in the field driving around actually looking for vacant houses. Um, one of the most important things to, you know, actually finding vacant houses is just looking when you're out in your, your daily routine. Most of the houses that we find, we find while we're, you know, leaving Walmart. Um, what we do is we decide to, okay, I'm leaving Walmart, leaving the grocery store, wherever. So what we end up doing is just driving a, you know, a couple side streets, doing that, you know, taking an extra minute out of your day or so to go out and look for vacant houses. It, it's really that simple. We tend to find when doing that, you know, one or two vacant houses. But those adds up, add up. If you're doing that every single day, um, pretty soon, pretty soon you're taking, you know, I'm finding one or two taking 10 minutes. Why don't I take an hour? And you're finding 20, 30, you know, 40 vacant houses a day. These vacant houses are houses where the sellers are usually very motivated. They, they want to sell them, you know, dirt cheap. Um, a lot of times they're in physical distress. They need a lot of work. And, you know, these sellers, they, they want to sell. A lot of times maybe they, they just forget about the property. They get busy doing something else. Maybe it's an in, inherited property. You know, whatever it can be. Like right here, I'm going to write this down. Here is a vacant house. Um, I wish I could show it to you. Lawn overgrown. Um, you know, there was a little vacant slip in their mailbox. And there, there are, I mean, tons of ways that you can spot these things. Number one way I would say is the lawn starts to get overgrown. Number two is if you see utility notices, newspapers, you know, something around the, the door area, shut off notices, a vacant slip in the mailbox. Um, you can usually see those sticking out. Those are the ways that you, you spot them. Well, I guess, you know, that's it for this quick video. Get out there. Find some vacant houses. You know, um, go to vacanthouseriches.net for more information. What we do is we show you how to go out and find vacant houses, how to have other people, you know, bring vacant houses to you so you don't have to be out driving around all the time. You can just drive around in your spare time. And also what we do is we show you the, the trickiest part is finding the homeowners. Because these houses are vacant, you know, a lot of times the homeowners live in a, a different state. They live, they have a different address. You know, so what you need to do is you need to become a private investigator almost to find these people. And what we do is we show you simple strategies um, to find them. And we also show you, you know, strategies that nobody else knows. You need to be the first person to find these vacant house owners to contact them. Because if you're the first person to contact them, you know, you're going to buy the property from them. It's that simple. So that's all I have for you. And I'll see you at vacanthouseriches.net.